Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. Oh, no, you? So I'm not a hater. I could only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealing with that for the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Martilli, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man. The king of New York get kidnapped, pistol whipped, and robbed. Takashi 6 9 Yep. All that talking and trolling and caught up with you. And the crazy thing about it, it ain't even over. The street still ain't done with you yet. And that's the crazy thing like I was trying to tell you, man. You do not want to play these games, man. When you're successful like you are, why do you have to troll? Why do you have to call beef and strike? And against these other cities and even in your place. Why even self-anoint and crown yourself the things you do when you know people going to come for it? And then you have so many enemies, you don't even know where it's coming from. This man is saying out of his own mouth, it was an inside job. So people who once been around him, who, him, who once was his homies, who once was people who ate with him, broke bread with him, if if that faithfully set him up. So he, so he ain't got to worry about the outsiders. Now the insiders at you. So you messed up inside in and out. And life always show you anybody could get God. It don't matter who you is. You could be the toughest gangster in the world. They still going to try you. They still going to come at you. People still were trying to kill John Gotti and Scarface now. Even though they knew these dudes were straight up hardcore assassin and killers, they still were trying to kill them. This is the life we live in. It's called sin. Period. No matter who you is. It come for you. And why these record labels pumping y'all up and trying to get y'all to call, uh, start these strife and beefs with everybody while they collecting and rallying in all the money and stuff off you sacrificing yourself? Where were they at? Where was all these people from your record label and all these people who behind you who were boosting you up to do all this stuff, bragging and condoning? Where were they at? Where were they at, man? When you sitting there pleading for your life to the person who got the gun to end your life to let you see your baby another day. Was you thinking about your baby when you was also posing them same threats to other people, Takashi 69? Was you thinking about your baby when you wanted war and beef with everybody? Do you think about your baby when you trolling everybody, uh, 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 just begging for somebody to challenge you, step up to the plate, pull up on you, come to my house, this where I live, I'm the king of Brooklyn. Was you thinking about your child then who could be in the same house with you while you inviting killers and assassins to come challenge you. You brothers need to grow the hell up. When do you become a man? When do you not learn from what you're seeing going on? You just saw the assassination of XX uh, uh, Takashian, uh, ten, whatever his name. You just saw that. I don't watch, I don't listen to these people. And the only reason why I know about some of these people now is because I'm blogging now. But I still haven't heard their music. But it's sad and tragic when you see what's going on. I know the end results. I know the end results of the book, so I don't have to read it. I know the end results of it because I once lived it and was in those streets. And that's why you see so many of these young dudes in these rap games so wild, radical, and rebellious at what they doing. They don't have no role models. They don't have no father figures. They not role models. They not father figures. It's just all the F you life. The F the world life. That's all this is. F the world. Wake up. F everybody. They have no respect for their parents. They have no respect for their mother. They have no respect for God. They have no respect for their children. They have no respect for themselves. Or authority. Or authority. It's just murder, murder, murder. Everything is death. Just like Scarface said, I never seen a man cry until I saw that man die. Or oh, it's serious then. 
All that laughing and joking and trolling, it gets serious then when it's real life. Told you, fam. You have to not get caught up into this stuff that's going on. This music industry and these streets and social media is killing brothers daily. And it is sad and it is tragic and people need to wake the hell up. Clout chasing and hating has became the new trend. The new trend and it's popular that you can hate on somebody else to just get accepted. We see this happening all the time. And brothers run right to social media bragging about it after they do the crime. This stuff is lame. This stuff is sad. This stuff is horrible and it's wicked. So you got robbed. Followed to your home. You know you can't live there no more. Once a person violates your home, you got to get the hell up out of there. You ain't even safe there no more. You're not even safe in your own home no more, fam. They came in your, man, they came to your house, not caring who was there, not caring who was inside, not caring who you were with. In your hometown, Mr. King of Brooklyn, Mr. King of New York. Now you've been given another chance. Luckily, luckily. When you look at this internet and you Google rappers that died in 2018, look how many people come up. Rappers that died in 2017, look how many people come up. Sad case, man. Sad. Sad. Black people, man, this don't make no sense, man. Look how, look how, much, look how much like animals we are. Look at how much hate and jealousy we hold in our hearts about each other. You can't blame other nationalities for looking at us the same way. Look what we do to each other. How could you blame the Jews, the Caucasians, the Palestinians, the Asians, the Indians? How could you blame them for how they look at us when we don't give a damn about ourselves? I don't even care about ourselves. Everything is jealousy and hate, 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 hate. Hate! Sad, man. We live in a generation of young drug addicts. These young boys are straight up drug addicts. 14, 15, 16, strung out on pills, strung out on weed, strung out on coke, strung out on Primor, strung out on heroin. Don't have no education, but they addicted to the drugs. They fainting. So now you know what? Since they can't get a job, don't want to work a job, lazy, and got these addictions, the only thing they know is to pick up that pistol and try to get it the so-called easy way by taking somebody else up. And that's why you see so much shooting and killing going on. That's why you see so much of it now. And then you got these other rappers in the game, all these OGs from Snoop Dogg to T.I. to The Game to 50 Cent to Lil Boosie. You got all these OG uh, 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 rappers who've been in the game seeing these little dudes going astray. Won't even pull them to the side to educate them, motivate them, give them a, a sense of direction and hope to teach them, to school them, to show them the ropes. Knowing these young dudes, even though they big, even though they popular, even though they going by, knowing they respect them, they, they don't have no choice but to respect them. But won't even lead them the way. But you'll see these overgrown dudes trying to go up against them. A child is just a ring of straight up circus clowns. And it's sad. And it's tragic. All this talking. And you don't even see the people that are dying on the streets behind this garbage. Who believe in y'all. Who watch y'all. Then try to do what y'all say do. And real life on these streets. Getting straight up life sentences. And buried in the dirt six feet deep. What you gonna do with your second chance? Takashi 69. What you gonna do with your second chance? Because at the end of the day, all these people who smiling and laughing and congratulating you and trying to uplift you, when you dead and gone, they ain't going to give a damn about you, boy. They ain't going to hold your daughter. They not going to protect your daughter from this evil world that may have took your life. 
When she cry, they not going to dry her tears. When she's struggling, they not going to provide for her. When she need her father, they can't replace you. See, the evidence of love is change. How do you know you love your daughter? You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to give up that that you love, that you know can take you away from her. Because the love for her is greater than that. That's what a real sacrifice is. To give up some, look, a sacrifice, it's not a sacrifice if you don't love it. If you love clout chasing, if you love trolling, if you love all these things that going to end your life, you love that. That's why you do it. But is your love for your daughter greater than that that you love, that you're willing to sacrifice it for her? That's what a sacrifice is. And if you're not willing to give us something that you love, that you know that can destroy and take away that which is greater, you don't love it as much. In fact, it's the opposite way around. You love the streets and trolling and this so much that you sacrifice your child for it instead. But if you love your child more, then you sacrifice it. Because that's true success. True success is not what you got in your bank account. It's not the roof you got over your head. It's not the clothes that you put on their back. True success is being able to live, to enjoy, to see your daughter get married, to walk her down the aisle and give her off into the hands of a man who appreciate her value and worth. True success is seeing your grandchildren. True success is living by the divine hand of the almighty God who keep and sustain you and correct and give you the wisdom and direction to make right choices to be a blessing to others. And this is battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's a question. It's yours. And my question I'm saying to you, brother, is this. What are you willing to sacrifice? 